Hey guys, so we've been solving the primary five test paper problems, right? So in that series, we are going to solve the problem that you see on the screen today, right? So it is talking about the figure that is on the <coughs> board, right? Okay, so let's write down, let's read the problem and then see if it is if it is there in the in the figure, right? It says that in the figure given below, not shown to the scale, it's not drawn to scale, right? Okay, now w x y z is a rectangle w x y z that's a rectangle that's what is given so let's just draw that it's a rectangle w x y z yeah and also it is given that w x is parallel to s t w x is parallel to s t which means w x parallel to s t right so that's what is given and find the area of the unshaded portion of the figure so it is asking to find the the area of the unshaded portion right so this is this is all shaded this is the unshaded portion right got it so that's what we are going to find yeah so now you see here in the figure as i always say that whenever you solve geometric problems right if there is any point which is not given an address, you should give address to it, right? Now you see here, this point is not given an address, right? So let's give address as P, right? So now all the points are given address, right? Okay, so now to find the unshaded part of the, the area for the unshaded portion, what do we need to do is, right? We need to find the the whole rectangles area and then we can just subtract the area of the the shaded portion right yeah okay so now let's do that so the area of the area of the unshaded portion is equals to what do we need to do is equals to the area of what w x y z that's the rectangle minus right minus the area of this rectangle c s t p z right so, okay the area of rectangle s t p z plus the area of this triangle right p t or t p y yeah t p y that is the triangle right so if we do this one we will be able to find the unshaded portion the area of the unshaded portion so now for that we will find the area of each of these things right when each 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 of these figures or areas right okay so now let's find the area of the rectangle first so, okay the area of the rectangle w x y z that's what we are going to find first right what is the formula for that area for the rectangle length times breadth lb yes very good okay now see if we do we know the length you see here the length is 45 it's given right and the breadth is given that is 25 centimeter right yeah that's given in the figure so let's just substitute the values which is 45 times 25 yeah which is equals to how much Want me to multiply okay let's do that 45 25 see 5 times 5 is 25 5 5 times 4 is 20 20 plus 2 22 now here 2 times 5 is 10 0 2 times 4 is 8 8 plus 1 9 yes 90 so 5 2 11 11 25 right 1125 what centimeter this one is centimeter so centimeter square so 1100 i mean uh, 1125 centimeter square right so that's the area for the rectangle right the big rectangle now let's find the area for this rectangle s t p z right area for rectangle s t p z so that's what we are going to find again the formula is l b and the L is what? The length is 25, right? And the breadth is what? 
19 centimeter so 25 times 19 so 25 times 19 is 9 times 5 is 45 5 9 times 2 is 18 plus 2 225 1 times 25 is 25 5 7 4 475 so which is equal to 475 centimeter square right okay so now let's find the the area for this triangle right the area for the t p y right what is the formula for that 1 by 2 half b h base times height right do we know the height of this one this this is the triangle we are finding the area for do we know the height yes we do because see here this is parallel line right this is parallel see this st is parallel to this one which means this is a straight line so the height will never change so this one is 19 as well right but do we know the base do we not yet we can find it but see here the whole length is 45 but we know the part of that length which is 25 right see if we subtract the 25 from the 45 that is what the remaining length here right which is 45 minus 25 is equals to how much 0 20 yes exactly so 20 centimeter we can solve on the figure itself right this part is 20 centimeter p y is 20 centimeter which is the base yes exactly so 1 by 2 base is 20 centimeter times height is what 19 so if you cancel it it is 10 times 2 and then 10 times 19 is 190 centimeter square right okay so now to find the unshaded part what do we need to do here from the big rectangle we just need to subtract the small rectangle and the triangle space right now let's add what these two becomes right let's find that yeah so st pz and tpy the area right if we add them together how much will it become 5 and then uh, uh, 7 plus 9 16 right 4 plus 1 5 6 6 65 right 6 65 now we know the big rectangles area already right so now let's let's solve it the area of the unshaded portion is equals to 1125 1125 minus 665 665 right okay now what it will become 606 65 5 minus 5 0 12 minus 6 is 6 and then 10 minus 6 is 4 right 460 460 centimeter square right uh, 460 yeah. 60 460 centimeter square right right guys easy yeah so geometry is always easy guys right okay cool just that you need to understand what is in the figure and remember some formulas right so that's all for this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching